this thing of watching David Arnold was not just David Arnold. It, it's his talent and he works hard, but it was a village around him that helped him. And that's, and I have to give a that's lot of truth. props to Kim because Kim set aside three years of her life to go on the road so David, because she believed in David so much to go on the road so he could get the exposure. He had the talent. He had it, but sometimes people won't look at you, even if you got the talent and it takes right. somebody else to kind of usher you, get it, usher you in, um, into that place. And Kim was the one that did that because I would say to her all the time, why are you going out so much? You don't need, and Kim would bring Andre. She brought her lean. It was a whole entourage. And I have to say this props to Kim Whitley. She didn't make that much money because she had to dole it out to so many people. She had to pay everybody. She split it with, with David. She gave some to Andre. She was paying for everybody's airfare and it was a big entourage. But Kim is one of those type of people who, if she believes in you, she will support you sometimes to the detriment of who she is. And she was exhausted all the time, but she wanted David to get out there. And so to see David, I watched his special and it was really good. But to see all of, and Kim even came in a snowstorm to support David Arnold when he shot that special. Me, I called David and I was like, look here, uh, it's a snowstorm and I'm not dying. So I'm not coming. I'm going back to LA. He was like, really? I need your support. I was like, uh, Kim gonna be there. Kim got a motel, came in a snowstorm to support David Arnold, her friend. And uh, to see where David Arnold is now versus where he was, it really truly is a you work hard and, and the money will come. But yes. it was very good. But Kim, the entire time but I the watched it. The money ain't come this way. The money ain't came this way. I can tell so by the Kim, look on Kim's Kim face. Because she wanted to produce her on this special. <laughs> <laughs> Netflix heard Kim Whitley. And it was like, no, she going to be too bossy. But no, I'm not saying that. But uh, when, I, when I watched the special that was so good, I just thought about Kim Whitley. And I thought about how Kim would go first. Because normally Kim is a headliner. Because David was very strong. And Kim wanted David to just get his props and she, and he is, he's getting his props, but that's something that, that you did for David, which and I told him, I said, I'm the Diana Ross, you Michael Jackson. So I'm gonna introduce you. So I will go up first and everybody's like, why are you going, why are you going first? And I tell people, I said, I'm going up first tonight. I said, because I got to introduce you to this man. I, I've got to tell you who he is. So that's why we did it like that. I said, and I'll be back with him. And that's what we did every night. I would go up and then I, I would tell a story and I said, I'm introducing you. And David would open up and say, I know y'all looking at me and you don't know who I am. You don't think I'm gonna be funny. And that was every night. Now he sells out. And he sells out, he's on billboards in Times Square. Yep. Um, you know, the one thing I would say about David is uh, any given night, seven days a week, you'll see David Arnold at a comedy club. Yep. So it's, it's not just, he can't say, Kim is not going to back somebody who don't work hard. And, and David Arnold is always working on his craft. That's the thing I got to give him. It's a little bit easier yeah. when you, it's different for Kim and I, because we're single mothers, to go out and do it at that level. Um, because David has his wife, Julie, who's the backbone. Two funny mamas. Two funny mamas.